In today lecture, I will give brief introduction of fading in wireless communication channel. The content of this lecture is like this. First of all, I will discuss basic introduction of fading and its type. Large scale fading, path loss, shadowing, small scale fading, multipath fading, fast fading and lastly slow fading. What is fading? Fading is the variation of the attenuation of a signal with various variable. Then comes in our mind what is fading channel? Fading channel is a communication channel that experiences fading. Fading may either be due to multipath propagation referred to as multipath induced fading whether particularly rain or sideowing from obstacles affecting the wave propagation sometimes referred as side of fading. Fading types. Fading is broadly classified into large scale fading and a small scale fading. Large scale fading is broadly classified into path loss and side owing. A small scale fading is broadly classified into two pa three parts, multipath fading, fast fading, slow fading. Again multipath fading is broadly classified into two parts flat fading and selective fading. We should go one by one of different fading. First of all, I will discuss what is large scale fading and its type. For better understanding of large scale fading and a small scale fading, we should understand this graph from this graph that from the yellow line, you can see that this reflect the large scale fading, there is a, a steady decrease in the power, signal power over a long distance or with respect to time. But in case of a small scale fading, you can see here with the green line, there is a rapid fluctuation in signal power with respect to time or a distance. Understand? So I will define large scale fading Large scale fading represent a average signal power attenuation or a path loss due to motions over a large area and it is impacted by train configuration between the transmitter and receiver. And over a long distance, several hundred or thousands of meters, there is a steady decrease in power. Again, we will move on to different types of large scale fading. That is first one is path loss. Path loss or path attenuation is the reduction in power density of an electromagnetic wave as it propagates through a space. What is the mathematical formula for path loss in dV? Path loss in dV is equal to 20 log on base 10 of 4 pi d upon lambda where d a will be the distance between the transmitter and the receiver. Lambda is the wavelength of electromagnetic wave that is, transmit, uh, that is being transmitted from transmitter to receiver. I am not going into more, de more detail of mathematical expression of path loss. I will just give an, a brief introduction of what is path loss. Side of fading. Long term side of fading is due to the variation in radio signal power due to encounter with train obstructions such as hills or man-made structures such as buildings. The measured signal power differs substantially at different location even though at the same radial distance from a transmitter. You can see that from a single point you can draw a radius, a circle of radius suppose r. At that circumference you cannot say that the signal power is same at each and every point. But there Fading is different at each and every point of that very circumference of a circle. So it is not depending of on radial distance. It is it is it might have a different value at different radial distance. So a small scale fading. A small scale fading is used to describe the rapid fluctuation of amplitude, phase, or multipart delay of radio signal over a short period of time or travel distance. Short term fluctuation in signal power amplitude caused by local multipath. 
factors influencing the small scale feeding are first one is multipath propagation second one transmission bandwidth of the signal Th third one a speed of the surrounding object fourth one a speed of the mobile then comes a in case of a small scale feeding its subdivision is multipath feeding before understanding of multipath feeding we should understand what is multipath propagation for better understanding of that we should look into the figure 1 shows the multipath propagation here you can see that from the base station the data is being transmitted the electromagnetic wave is going through uh, through different path and it is having a different phenomena for this path it is having going through the reflection phenomena and from that path it is having a scattering phenomena and from this path you can see that there is a diffraction phenomena and they all are reaching at the same point that is a mobile user so these all waves are having reaching the same point will have different attenuation and different delay multipath fading occurs when signal reaches a receiver via many path and their relative strength and phases changes the actual power received over a much smaller distance vary considerably due to the destructive or constru constructive interference to of the multiple sig multiple signal that follow multipath to the receiver the direct rays is actually made up of many rays due to a scattering multiple times by obstructions along its path all traveling about the same distance each of these rays appearing at the receiver will differ randomly in amplitude and phase due to a scattering multipath fading is broadly classified into two parts first one is flat or non selective fading second one is free frequency selective fading first of all i will look at what is flat fading in case of flat fading if the symbol does not extend beyond the symbol time duration then it is having going through the phenomena of flat fading if the delay of multipath component with respect to the main component is smaller than the symbol duration duration time a channel is said to be subject to the flat fading for the better understanding of flat fading and frequency selective fading we should look into this graph in this graph you can easily see that xf is the signal spectrum and hf is the channel frequency response for flat fading if the symbol does not extend beyond the symbol time duration it means that x delta of f signal bandwidth will be less than the coherence bandwidth bc then it is going with the phenomena of flat fading and in the second figure you can see here hf is lesser than xf it means symbol is exceeding beyond the symbol time duration then it is going with the frequency selective fading so i may define frequency uh, a small scale fading is defined as being frequency selective if the received multipath component of a symbol extend beyond the symbol time duration the extent the effect of multipath fading on the reception of the signal depends on the signal bandwidth then again what is fast fading it is it varies quickly with the frequency the fast fading originate due to the effect of constructive and destructive interference pattern which is caused due to multipath doppler spread leads to frequency dispersion and time selective fading fast fading result due to the following two factors first one is high doppler spread second one is coherence time less than symbol time then the fast fading will occur in fast fading channel impulse response changes rapidly within the symbol duration understand and it's occur for very low data rate in slow fading 
it does not vary quickly with frequency it's originate due to effect of mobility it is result of signal path changes due to shadowing and obstruction such as tree or building slow fading result due to following two factors first one is low doppler spread second one is if coherence time is much much higher than symbol period in this case slow fading in case of slow fading impulse response changes much slower than the transmitted signal thank you for watching this video